Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite superheroes and villains. Today we're going to be covering yet another much requested Green Lantern, Jon Stewart. Now I want to clarify something, this is originally from the 1970s because we couldn't find any other origin for him and we couldn't even find a retelling for Jon Stewart. Also I want you to keep in mind that this was told during a different time period in American culture, during a time when black individuals of America were being repressed. But if we skip over the bulk of problematic content, the story won't make much sense. So if you're easily offended by racism, I would advise you to skip over this one. Here we go. Things begin with Hal Jordan and an earthquake in his local city. And since Hal wasn't injured by this earthquake, he decided that he would go make sure that everyone else was okay. Well, the earthquake caused a bridge to go out, and it was Guy Gardner who was nearby and able to save a little girl who was perched on the edge of that bridge about to fall off. Well, when Guy reached out to save her, a bus hits him from behind, breaking almost every bone in his body. Hal quickly gets Guy to a hospital where he's told that Guy will be bedridden for the next six months. Well, this is a problem as Guy Gardner was the alternate choice for Hal Jordan's ring and is the only other person on Earth who's able to wield the mighty ring if Hal ever gets strung out. You see, during this time period, the Green Lanterns only had one Green Lantern per sector, so they would always have a backup Green Lantern in case the primary Green Lantern was ever injured. But the Guardians already had a plan in place, and they inform Hal Jordan that they've already selected a replacement for Guy Gardner. And they bring Hal Jordan to meet his newest partner, Jon Stewart, the only man that the Guardians could find who had the qualifications to become a Green Lantern. Well, right off, Hal Jordan sees him arguing with the police about his civil rights, and right off he says that he just doesn't trust this guy's attitude. But the Guardians snap at Hal. We're not interested in your petty bigotries, Lantern Jordan. You will train this man. Well, obviously, the Guardians took what he was saying wrong, so Hal wants to prove himself and he heads over to introduce himself to Jon Stewart, and he explains everything about the Lantern Corps to Jon Stewart while they all sit in a candy store. You see, Jon has been having a problem getting a job, because as he puts it, there isn't much work for a black architect, and he decides that he'll give this whole Green Lantern thing a shot. He even jokes with Hal that they should start calling him the Black Lantern. Hal trains him in the basics of the ring, and then he gives John a uniform, which looks very much like Hal Jordan's. But John takes the mask off, claiming, I won't be wearing any mask. This black man lets it all hang out. The training continues until the local senator arrives at the airport, and a truck was going out of control, about to crash into pedestrians. John uses his ring for the first time to stop the truck, but while doing so, he punctures the side of the truck, spraying oil all over the senator's face. Now that he had black oil all over his face, John flies over and he makes a passing comment to the senator asking if he's been picking cotton lately, and then he flies away. Hal catches up and he gives him an earful about how recklessly he was using the ring, but John just snaps back at him saying, listen Whitey, the windbag of a senator wants to be president, and he's a racist. But Hal responds, you think he's a racist. Well tough, nobody appointed you judge, now as punishment, we're gonna guard the senator, and don't call me Whitey. So Hal and John take their positions and they guard the senator, which forces John to have to listen to the senator be extremely racist and go on about how black men's brains are much smaller than a white man's brain. Because of their limited intelligence, the black man can't appreciate finer things. John is getting extremely irritated having to listen to all of this, but Hal decides to respond to John by telling him that the senator is just spouting nonsense. He won't deny that, but this is the price that we have to pay for free speech. Just then, an assassin opens fire on the senator, and Hal moves into action, yelling for John to help him catch this guy. But John turns to Hal and says, Not me! You go chasing him! I'm leaving! Hal catches up with the assassin, and he knocks him out rather quickly, and then he flies off to find where John disappeared to. What he finds is John is holding another man prisoner, and he demands to know what John is doing. But John responds with, I think it's time for you to have your own lesson, teacher. John explains that the man that Hal stopped was just a decoy. He only had blanks in his gun. The real killing was supposed to happen out here in the parking lot because the senator was going to claim that the blacks were on a rampage, making the senator appear to be a hero. Well, with the plot having been revealed, the senator is hauled off to jail. And then they fly off to the rooftops again where Hal apologizes to John for assuming that he would just take off like that and not live up to his duties. But John just says, no sweat, pal. And with that, John Stewart is officially a Green Lantern of Earth. And that's everything, guys. I mean, as you can see, this is why it took us so long to get to this one, because I was trying to decide if we should pull out all of the racist stuff, but I felt that by pulling it all out, it would ruin what made Jon Stewart so important in the early days, how he proved that he could be a Green Lantern, because it really wouldn't make much sense if we pulled all of that out and he was just messing with a senator. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the story, and if you think that they really should do a retelling of it, if they should redo it, if they should retcon it, or if they should just leave this as it is. Before I go, I want to let you guys know about the comic book YouTube community, thewekly.net. If you join us out 
out our website. We have a forum there where you can chat with us and chat with other comic book readers, and you guys can discuss what's coming up, what's going to be coming out eventually, stuff that's already happened, stories that you want us to cover. It's a big community that we've created for you, and we would really appreciate it if you guys could join us right there. I'm Benny for Comic Story, and you can follow me on Twitter at Comic Story, and I'll see you guys next time right here.